A student is working on toward a certain goal and it's been quite some time. Uh, it, it's rare that somebody comes to me and they've just been at it for a couple months. Usually it's years and a student comes to me and they ask me, okay, here's what I want to learn. Can you help me? And it's a good idea to ask yourself, why am I doing something? Uh, am I doing this for fun? Am I doing this for fitness? Or am I doing this because I want to learn something? It's rare that I get somebody who wants to know, who wants to understand how the process works. And so what usually happens when a student isn't willing to consider new ideas and consider new ways of pursuing something, what usually happens is they lose interest very quickly because they don't see the connection between what we're doing now and what they want to learn eventually. And because they don't see that connection, naturally, they don't believe that what we're doing is going to take them where they want to get. And when you don't believe, it's not going to work. And I'm not saying be delusional and believe against, you know, reality. What I'm talking about is the fact that we all want a magic pill for something. My goal with this video was to help a student understand uh, the connection between the simplest element of hand balance and the most difficult element of hand balance. Throughout your entire journey in hand balance, from zero to ten, everything you're doing has to do with everything else that you are doing. And so for those students who don't see that connection, as I mentioned in my previous video, you cannot progress beyond something you do not understand. It really is simple if you break it down. First of all, it's symmetry because symmetrical alignments are balanced out. Everything is in the proper form, is in the proper shape, and therefore when everything is, uh, when you distribute your weight properly, that's balance. Um, if your weight is too much on one side or the other, that's a misbalance. So you have to find a way to maintain just the right alignment. Now, how do we maintain alignment? When we can't see our own body, we need to find a way to activate our body, we need to be present in our bodies, we need to engage our muscles in order to know exactly where our body is when we're trying to do something. And so by combining the imaginative ability to picture what you are doing with the real world feedback of directly felt sensation from engaging the body and by working on establishing and understanding what the right alignment is, we can absolutely achieve those various steps and stages all hand balancing skill that will take us toward the desired result and while hand balance skill is very physical it takes a lot of endurance and strength it is also quite mental and in a sense it is spiritual as well because with those alignments the energy flows freely if the alignment is correct the energy will flow through you like a like a waterfall, like a fountain. And when the energy flows freely, there's a rush of insight that comes into your mind. You can experience that in yoga when you breathe correctly and you assume certain positions. And so through correct form, you obtain greater balance. And while you're working on greater balance, you're building strength and endurance at the same time. But without gradually layering your skill, one thing on top of another, it's going to be difficult to get anywhere. And you may be having fun pursuing this skill, you're learning this skill, but if we're talking about actual improvement and actual growth, it will take a more detailed approach and it'll take more discipline and more commitment and more consistency. If you want to get to the next level, it comes with total change and transformation. While you may be striving for greater heights, without applying the knowledge and verifying for yourself, you cannot take things to the next level. So, circling back a little bit to what I was saying before, to graduate to the next level, it means to transform yourself. Total transformation 
equals next level. This old operating system is not compatible with the new kinds of knowledge and it might be uncomfortable to be to open yourself up to a completely different approach to something because you know there's a reason why we have habits there there's a reason why we're rooted in our ways because if something works for us or if something makes us feel good we want to stick with it but again feeling good doesn't always mean that our things are good for us feeling good just means that we are content with where we are and we are sort of guiding ourselves through the world according to our sense of comfort and maybe if I try something new I'll get a different result. Einstein's definition of insanity is if you keep doing the same thing but expecting a different result that's insanity because we are being misled by our own minds in that sense. So to graduate to the next level you you need to be open to new ideas. It's good to have the confidence in the fact that you can achieve something but it takes persistence, patience, and an inquisitive mind to figure out whether the steps you're taking are good or not uh, and whether they're going to work.